On July 20, 1969, Buzz Aldrin made an historic Apollo 11 moonwalk, becoming one of the first two humans to set foot on another world. Buzz has authored five books, including his early autobiography, Return to Earth. As chairman of StarCraft Enterprises, Buzz has remained at the forefront of efforts to ensure a continued leading role for America in manned space exploration. It was more challenging to me to come back to Earth than it was to go to the moon. My challenge came out later in life. My father was clearly an absent role model, and he uh, was in uh, the military. Both my parents suffered from overdependency on uh, alcohol, and my mother had also uh, depressive tendencies. My father was over in the South Pacific. I was going into the ninth grade, and my mother uh, felt that seas were not going to get me anywhere. She explained that schoolwork and academics would count and lead toward everything else. So from that point on, my life was very structured, knowing where I was heading, what I wanted to do. And I ended up with a principal appointment to uh, West Point. I was third in my class, so obviously I got my choice of uh, assignment into the Air Force. I said, I want to go to Korea. <laughs> Korea certainly was a maturing experience. And I was there for uh, about six months of the combat and had uh, 66 combat missions. Later on, I decided that I wanted to get into the astronaut program. A year before I went to the moon, my mother committed suicide from depression and uh, alcoholism. For one priceless moment in the whole history of man, all the people on this earth are truly one. I land on the moon, so I kept propelled into notoriety, and now my life is beginning to fall apart. I'm not sure what to do, how to handle things. And then dealing with that role that you're expected to somehow maintain. I had this sense of depression. It turned out that the depression brought about more and more drinking. It progressed a good bit further, and then it was quite clear that really alcoholism was the problem. The recovery was not at all easy. Uh, it's now 26 years. Going through life with arms outstretched, you have to accept a few things, toss away a few things, but take advantage of all the opportunities that come along.